And the Scottish separatists have launched a petty revolt against plans to offer schools a free portrait of King Charles to celebrate his reign. In a sign of the SNP's growing hostility towards the monarchy, ministers have branded Deputy PM Oliver Dowden's £8 million goodwill scheme a waste of time and money. And the party's coalition partners, the Scottish Greens, went even further by outrageously claiming the initiative would look more at home in North Korea. A Scottish Conservative spokesman said the revolt showed the devolved administration is totally divorced from public opinion. But what do you think? Should the King's portrait adorn the walls of all schools and public buildings in the UK? Dan at GBNews.com. Vote in our poll at GB News on Twitter. And to debate this now, I'm joined by the actress Jenny Barnett and UKIP leader Neil Hamilton. Now, Neil, you say absolutely the SNP have got this wrong. Yeah, absolutely. The king is our head of state. He's not a politician, so he's not divisive. And we've had a monarchy in the United Kingdom uh, in our separate parts for well over a thousand years. Uh, it's the modern symbol of our history going back all those centuries. I can't really see why this should be controversial at all. You go all the way around the world, you'll find the portraits of presidents in republics on all public buildings. Uh, what's wrong with doing the same thing in this country? And the reason why the SNP, of course, is against this is because uh, they are fundamentally a socialist and Republican party. But what a miserable collection of killjoys they are. <laughs> Jenny Barnett, they, they are, aren't they? They're completely wrong to do this, the SNP, because, sure, they might be coming out as Republicans now, showing their true colours, but actually uh, Scotland is still represented by Westminster. And the king is Scotland's well, head of state. Yes, but many people, when he was crowned three and a half months ago, said, not in my name. Not that many. Not him. Well, enough. Now, let's look at the, the, some... Well, no, enough 70, would be over 50%. 79% of, of over 65 want to have the king. But 40% of 18 to 24 now think that we should have an elected head of state. But beyond that... Yeah, young people think pounds, loads of crazy things, Jenny. Million, they grow up. Million, they grow up and get a eight, brain. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, £8 million pounds spending from the richest man in this country, in a country where many of the children okay. don't have shoes, don't go to school, don't have money. It's nonsense. It is a personality cult. And I think if you're going to put pictures up in in all places and you want to look at people like um, David Attenborough, why not David Attenborough? Or even Victoria Wood, who represents <laughs> dinner ladies. OK, but, but she's Attenborough. not the head of state, There's Jenny. There's wrong with the king, but I do not think that we should be putting him up in every single school. Yeah. It is like North Korea. It is if we have okay. to bow. I hear your point, Jenny. Neil Hamilton, very, very what about the point that, uh, that Jenny makes about money? Can we really afford this in the middle of a cost of living crisis, Neil? Well, I think that these symbols do matter. It, they are part of what uh, you know, keeps us together uh, as a nation. And if you're a, a, a nation, uh, you need to be in touch with your history as well. The monarchy is a very important part, I think, of what makes us uh, a country um, in Britain. You know, the monarchy is looked up to all around the world. You know, it's a I don't look up. Of... I don't look up to him. I, I like know you Charlie, know. the king. I, know. I think they're OK. Um, but... but, Jenny, you're a Republican, aren't you? Let's just put your cards on the table. You're a Republican. You want him gone. The fact no, I, of the matter I don't is, want them gone. I want them to Neil, be just let Jenny answer that. We'll come back to you. on their bicycles, and I want them to share their billions and billions of pounds. What I don't want is to be living in a society. The next thing will be that when the television goes off, we have to stand up and sing God Oh, God Jenny, don't be ridiculous. Well, that's, but it, that, that's what we had to do when we were growing up and we got thrown out. Well, I actually think it would be quite a nice thing. Up. I think it would be quite a nice thing, but that's not going to happen. Neil, sorry, you want to come back? Yeah, but I mean, it's not what you have to do. I mean, but the monarch is the head of state and he represents the nation. That's, it's not a personality culture. It's nothing to do with the personality of the monarch. It's the how, office how, itself. How, my darling, does he represent us? How does he represent us? I allowed you to, to make your point. The, the monarch does not so represent sorry. us in a sense of uh, any political 
a partisan view, but he represents as a symbol of our nation, as the president of any country does. But some countries, as in the United States, have presidents who are political. There are many other countries in the world have presidents who are elected in their own right. And as in Ireland, for example, uh, where the president is a totally uncontroversial figure, and you know, Michael O'Higgins uh, it doesn't divide the country. And I don't see any reason why King Charles should be regarded as divisive in our country, because he tries to embody all sorts of things. I don't agree with him for what I think are his wacky views on climate change, but that doesn't mean that I regard him as a political figure overall. I mean, he, I think, is doing a conscientious job of trying to okay. be... Uh, Neil it Hamilton. does not merit eight million pounds when we have okay. a cost of living crisis. Neil Hamilton, Jenny Which Barnett, you have turtles. made your points. I enjoyed the debate. Thank you both so much. But who do you agree with as the SNP revolts against these plans? Should the king adorn the walls of every public building? Let's go to your feedback. Brian on Twitter writes, yes. I feel this would heighten respect for the monarchy, which, thanks to the efforts of the mainstream media and anti-royalist organisations, is shamefully low across Britain. Kayleigh writes, I'm not sure this would be a good idea, as it might inspire vandalism and anti-monarchy pushback. And from Devo, people didn't even have pride in themselves anymore. This country needs to instil that pride. The monarchy can bring unity where politics divides us, and so we should hang. The King's Portrait in Public Buildings. I agree with you. I found that inspiring, actually. Your verdict is now in. 64% of you say, yep, let's get the King up. Let's get the King up on all of those walls, even if it's going to cost us £8 million, which, let's be honest, is a drop in the ocean, really, when you look at the government budget.